Today in the Ace Barbecue Pit Studio, join me as we make some amazing turkey breasts on the big green eggs. First, let's head out and get the big green egg started, get that all fired up and ready to go. Then back in here, do a little prep, then onto the egg, let's get cooking. All right, we'll go ahead and refresh this with some of that big green egg lump charcoal. And we have a windy day today, so we're trying to play a little bit of the wind, but we'll go ahead and get that refresh with the big green egg lump charcoal. And then like we always like to do, we'll go ahead and make a nice little pile in the middle. We'll get ready to get this started. And I'm gonna use my egg igniter today so I can get that ember pile started. I like to get that nice and ruby red glowing. Then we go from flame to fan. Now we're gonna use a fan to help speed this up, get ignition time a lot faster, and get ourselves up and running. Here we are right at 200 degrees, so we'll go ahead and add our convector. And as you can see, we also have a drip pan under here as well. That's gonna catch any of those juices today, but now we have it all set. We're gonna go ahead and close it. I'll show you how to adjust the bottom vent and the top vent. Today's cooking temp, 350 degrees. Our ingredients today are going to be very light because we're gonna let the big green egg flavor shine through. We have a six pound turkey breast. So actually it's both lobes of the breast on the rib cage. So I got that at my local grocery store. You can get it at your butcher counter as well. Now, this has a solution in it. So we are not going to brine it because we don't wanna brine something that's already brined and make it salty. What we're gonna focus on is adding flavor to the exterior of this and then really imparting more flavor with the big green egg. So we start off with that six pound turkey breast. Then look at this, we are gonna use one of my favorite tricks ever. We're gonna slather this bad boy in mayonnaise today. That's going to act as our binder to help tack up and make our cluck rub today, a balsamic rub stick really, really well. Then right towards the end, when we get finished, we will uh, baste it with a little bit of fire honey. Absolutely going to be sweet, delicious, balsamic-y, wonderful, and more. Today, we're going to be checking temp with our big green egg thermometer. And we are going to be cooking indirect on the big green egg today. So like I said, this turkey breast already has a little bit of a solution in it, or a brine, if you will. This had about 8% solution. So knowing that this is already pumped or injected with a little bit of salt and broth and things like that, I wanted to go a little bit light today, and that's why we're gonna use our cluck rub, giving it a nice balsamic flavor. Should pull that big green egg charcoal flavor in very nicely. Now, one clean hand and one uh, dirty hand, we're gonna go ahead and slather this guy down in mayonnaise and guess what? We'll just clean the other hand as well. But go ahead and slather this guy up in mayonnaise. Get that all around both sides, on the front, on the back, everywhere. Make sure you get that thing coated nicely in mayonnaise. And hey, you know what? If you have to use your second hand, it doesn't work to keep one hand dirty, one hand clean. Go for it, get it done. Okay, now that we've got it all set with mayonnaise, I'm gonna try to grab a spot where it doesn't get my hand all over the mayonnaise and it keeps it nice and cleanish, if you will. Then, just gonna go ahead carefully, hit it with this cluck rub. You can see it sticks quite nicely to the turkey breast. That is gonna be great. We'll get back here as well. Now we're gonna let this sit while that big green egg warms up and uh, let that rub start to soak in a little bit to that mayonnaise. Tell you what, pretty easy, right? All right, we burped the big green egg. We have our turkey breast loaded in here. Now we're gonna start checking this every 30 minutes. So about every 30 minutes, we're gonna do a little check-in on doneness with our big green egg thermometer. And we're gonna start tracking this. Today's goal temperature, 165 degrees. That's our goal. We'll see you in 30 minutes. Let's give our egg a burp and see where we're, ah, of course you fell over. You know what, don't even worry about it. We are still in a good place, so we are gonna leave it alone and deal with it, right? We're gonna deal with it. Here we are though, right after 30 minutes, let's go in there and check temperature and we're sitting right at about 62 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and close it, let it go for another 30 minutes. We'll come back and check temp then. All right, let's go ahead and burp the egg and we're gonna give this a check. I know what you're thinking. Why didn't you set the turkey breast back up? Well, I'll tell you what, one of the reasons I left it is when you have that mayonnaise on there, uh, you wanna leave it until it's set. If I start moving this around, I'm gonna break that crust and I definitely don't wanna do that. So really, I'm just here to take its temperature. I'm gonna leave it alone. So here we are now after uh, an additional 30 minutes. So we're right at one hour and we are at, let's get in here. 100 and about 100 degrees. So we're gonna close it again, set the timer for another half hour. All right, here we are right at that one and a half hour mark. We'll give the big green egg a burp. Time to get in there and check temperature once again. 
and it looks like we are sitting right at about 144 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and close this again. We're gonna go now in 15 minute increments, get this right up to that 165 degrees, and then we'll see you in the kitchen. Okay, here we are right at about 10 minutes left. Now I did stand it up because this is a time I wanna add a little bit of that fire honey and get into just a little bit of basting. So what I'm actually gonna do is kind of let that honey drizzle down here. Uh, that way I don't have to baste it. What I'm trying to do is get it to tack up kind of on its way down, as you can see. That way I don't have to worry about when I baste it, any of that crust coming off. So we'll keep doing this here probably one more time. And we'll be all ready and set to go but look at that little glaze of fire honey on there never hurt anybody at all all right, let's take a quick look and see where we're at. Oh my, look at that. We are done. Uh, we just hit 165 degrees, so time to get this off, get it in the kitchen. I'll see you back there when we cut into this bad boy. Look at all that amazing juiciness. After five minutes of resting, we're slicing into this to give it a check, see what it looks like. But I'll tell you what, oh my word. Lunch couldn't come at a better time today. Well, there you have it. We rubbed it with mayonnaise, seasoned it, cooked it on our big green egg. We uh, glazed it with a little bit of honey. We sliced into it to show you that doneness. Only one thing left to do, time to eat. And if you're looking for something that goes great with this, check out our apple stuffing video. That coming up next.